Hey guys, Rusty here at Blue Robotics. Today's new products are the Fathom S Tether Interface Board and a low light analog camera that works great with it. The Fathom S Tether Interface Boards provide a simple video and communication interface to help you get the most out of your tether. They're designed for use with our neutrally buoyant Fathom Tether cable, but they also work with any standard Ethernet cable. The Fathom S is comprised of two boards, the ROV side board and the top side board. I'll describe the features in a little more detail. First off, the boards use a differential analog video transmitter and receiver to send the video. Uh, on the ROV side board, that uh, takes in a camera signal from standard header pins and converts that into a differential signal that can travel more than 300 meters through the tether without any noticeable loss in quality or color. On the top side board is a differential receiver that converts that signal back into a standard video signal. A small potentiometer lets you adjust the gain of the filter uh, to be optimized for the length of the tether. The S in Fathom S stands for serial because these boards provide a long distance, high speed serial link. Between the boards, that's handled as differential RS422 serial, providing a reliable link at over a thousand meter tether lengths. Uh, on each end, that's converted to standard TTL serial, uh, as well as a USB serial port on the top side board making it easy to connect to just about any microcontroller or computer. There are also two specialized ports on the ROV side board. The first is a DF13 connector, making it easy to connect to a PixHawk or APM autopilot, and the second is a JST-GH connector, which complies with the new drone code mini standard and allows you to connect to a number of current and future autopilots. The last twisted pair of the tether is used for a remote power switch that allows you to turn the power on and off to the ROV board through the tether. On the ROV board, that's handled with a MOSFET switch that can provide up to 2 amps of power, battery power, for external loads. Uh, that allows you to connect this to a relay or a high power switching board to control the power to an entire ROV. The power switching capability also enables another cool feature, programming an Arduino microcontroller through the tether. On the top side board, there's a jumper to enable this feature. When that jumper is placed, uh, this board will cycle power to the ROV board when you hit program in the Arduino IDE. Uh, along with the serial port, that allows you to program the Arduino through hundreds of meters of tether uh, without even opening your watertight enclosure. Both boards have terminal blocks for power input and can accept anywhere from 7 to 20 volts. The top side board can also be powered directly through USB. Uh, the top side board has a standard RCA style jack to connect to a standard uh, video display or capture card. And both boards have 8 pin terminal blocks to connect to the tether. Uh, the Fathom S board set is available now. We've got fairly limited quantities at the moment, but we'll have more soon. Our next new product today is a low light analog camera that works great with the Fathom S boards. This camera has a large third of an inch Sony CCD sensor and a processing chip that enables it to be sensitive at very low light conditions. Uh, in our testing, we found that this camera was able to show clear colors in a dark environment where most cameras showed only black. Uh, the camera comes with a 2.1 millimeter lens, giving it a wide angle field of view of about 128 degrees. Uh, and the included cable and three pin connector plug directly into the Fathom S board and provide 12 volt power to the camera. Uh, we've got a few example shots that we've collected with this camera to show you. Documentation for both of these products is available on our website. Uh, that's all we've got for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.